Hi everyone out there, welcome to the stream and welcome to Jet and Airways, where a smile goes a long way. Um, I've just fired up the uh, APU, so we are here at Miami, just a short little hop today. Um, only my second YouTube stream, so I'm still trying to figure a few things out and, and find my way around. So. It could be a little bit dodgy, guys. It could be a little bit harem scare em. Uh, But we'll probably have more laughs than a barrel load of monkeys, okay? So it could be quite hilarious when things start going wrong. Um, you know what it's like. Murphy's Law. You can do 100 perfect landings. Then when someone's watching you, you'll end up in the trees. <laughs> I don't know what happens. When people are watching you, it's all different. You know, and that's... Yeah, you know, that's that's why pilots lock the cabin doors nowadays, so people can't go in there and watch them. You know, they do perfect landing, but people start going to the cabins to watch them. They're going to start. They're going to end up in the buildings and the trees, guys. So uh, that's why they that's why they lock the cabin doors now. They get too nervous with people watching them. Uh, that's what I reckon, anyway. Now, if you're out there and you're here already. Um, uh, let me know, eh? Let me know. Just drop me a little note in the comments that my mic is too loud or too quiet or or something. You can see the screen okay. You can hear me talking um, because I'm still trying to figure things out, actually. Eventually, this will be a really good streaming channel. I'm 100% sure of that if we keep practicing. Uh, but we've got to start somewhere. Okay, so I've got the APU started up and uh, we're in one of my favorite little planes. This beautiful little 737, PMDG 737. And uh, I think we're almost ready to get pushback. Once we have pushback, we can fire up the engines. Um, so the APU is running. Uh, we'll turn on our taxi lights. Turn on some of these other lights here. Uh, isolation valve is open. APU bleed is on. Uh, now I've already got my flight plan in. In the FMC. These are my uh, waypoints today. I'm going to grit. We've got to climb out to grit, which is straight out, straight line out of the the uh, runway. Swags, Butley, Tropic, over to Dolphin, and then straight into runway 06. So if you want to write those waypoints down and fly along, do the same route. Um, it's a nice little flight. I've flown it many times and done it beautifully. But like I said, today with people watching, it just may be a comedy show. May turn into a comedy show. Um, right, so let's go ahead. Let's get some clearance for pushback, shall we? Pushback and departure. Uh, taxi straight out. Miami ground wedge at 737 request taxi for straight out departure with Sierra. Wedge at 737 taxi 2 and hold short of runway 27. Contact tower on 123 decimal niner when ready. Okay. I heard that. Rural taxi hold taxi. short runway 27 wedge at 737. Right, here we go. I love the lighting of early morning, the clouds, the fluffiness, the, the orange and red colors of the clouds. Early morning is just beautiful. I love the reflections of the plane too on the livery. Looks very, very nice. Definitely 737 is my favorite plane. Um, 700 or the 800. I don't have the 600. 
800 I quite like. Right, we'll get over these lines here and then we can actually we can actually fire up our engines. Let's come up here, turn on our fuel pumps and um, we'll get our right engine started. It's far enough for the pushback. Let's get our camera in the right place so we can see our beautiful engines firing into life. There they go, left engine firing into life there. We'll feed her a bit of fat, give her some herbs. There we go. She's looking good. Right, we'll just wait for that to click back to the middle. There we go. Let's get our left engine. We'll kick her in the guts. Get her fired up. Come on, girl. Wind up. Beautiful. Give her a bit of fat. There we go. Can hear the deep whir, the bassy whir of those engines. Uh, coming into life. Sounds fantastic, doesn't it? Okay, they're both clicked back to the middle, so I'm going to click those engines around to continuous. I'm going to turn on the power bus for the engines. The left one and the right one, so we're now running on our power from the engines. Uh, so we don't need the APU. I'll turn off the APU. Turn off the APU bleed. Turn on our emergency lighting. Up there. Turn on our taxi lights. Taxi lights are on. Uh, so we can turn on our packs. Turn on our hydraulic pumps. Turn on our window heat here. Our heat probes and our yaw damper. Isolation valve open, very important. Right, welcome aboard guys. If you're you're out there, I can see we have uh, two or three watching, so welcome aboard. Hope you enjoy the video. Hope I don't make a complete ass of myself. <laughs> Only my second YouTube stream, so uh, don't expect any hot shot flying, guys. There's no Top Gun living here, okay? I'm, I'm not Tom Cruise, alright? I figure things out if I go on. I, I, I often blunder things. Uh, my stream last night, I had a practice. Thank goodness there weren't many watching. Alan was here, and um, I was doing a manual landing coming in, and I wasn't watching my speed, and uh, didn't quite make it to the runway. Landed in the grass. <laughs> Just needed to keep an eye on my speed, so you don't uh, 
drop down too quickly. I should have kept it around 100 and 140 knots, but I think I thought it was that 130, 135, and I wasn't looking, and it dropped right down below 120 or something, and it just dropped onto the grass. So it was a nice soft landing on the grass, but um, still not supposed to be on the grass, eh? Got a perfect good, good runway there, and that's where we should be landing. Um, okay, so we've all we've been cleared for uh, for taxi. So I think we can go ahead and taxi. Let's set a couple of things up here. Set my climb out speed to 250 knots. I'm not going to rush through it tonight and make make so many mistakes. I'm just going to go nice and slow, guys. It's probably a bit boring if you're an experienced uh, flight simmer or pilot. This will be a bit boring for you because I'm only a fun casual flyer. I do things the easy way and I keep it pretty simple most of the time. Um, I'll turn on my flight directors. Two flight directors. Uh, auto brakes, I'll turn them to RTO for rejected, rejected takeoff. Um, flaps, I'll set my flaps to five here. Down to five. Uh, now I need to set my annunciator, Annunci annunciator, I think that's what it's called down here. Got to flick that round to the right, hard to the right. Um, that way you become a blip on the radar in the control tower so they can actually see you. So they know where you are, they can tell you where to go and what to do. So very important that we do that. Um, Okay, I think we can start taxiing. We've got our taxi lights on. We do have actual clearance. So we're all good to go there. Um, let's see if we can give her a bit of fat and we'll head over to the right towards the runway. Today I was having trouble with my nose wheel steering. Oh my gosh, I spent hours trying to fix that. I thought, oh, i got a stream coming up at 9 o'clock and now I can't even taxi the plane to the runway what am I gonna do not very good at uh, troubleshooting problems guys I like everything to go nice and smooth uh, which is why I don't add many DLCs I don't like I don't like things going wrong and I'm not very good at troubleshooting and fixing stuff so I try and keep my flight simulator clean and fresh and without too many DLCs to worry about keep it simple that's what I do. Try not to go too fast with my taxi. But uh, thankfully, I don't know what I did really, but the nose wheel steering started to work again. Uh, so we're okay for tonight. Now if I drop out and disappear into the, the black wilderness of the abyss of the uh, internet somewhere along the stage, it means I've done something wrong and something switched off or I'm all flying guys. I'll apologise in advance if that's happening, okay? Because I don't really, not really confident about all the streaming stuff yet. So, if I lose you at some stage, um, uh, I will pick it up again tomorrow, and um, we will continue practicing this until we get good at it. But I, I'll apologise in advance just in case I lose you, okay? But so far, everything seems to be working, going quite smooth. Let me know in the comments if you can hear me okay, if you can see the screen clearly. A little bit of feedback would be good. Uh, am I in the right place here? Let me have a look. No, I'm not in the right place. Oh yeah, there's the runway there. I'm okay. Come forward a little bit more and then I'll get my... Um, normally I like to go back further towards the back of the back of the runway but I'll stop up here and I'll get some uh, uh, takeoff clearance we'll stop there why is there a tree growing in the middle of the runway can you guys see that is that a tree Man, look at that, a tree growing in the middle of the runway. That is unbelievable. 
It's incredible. I've never seen that before. I mean, they must have a caretaker or a groundsman here. He needs to get out here with this tractor and fix that. That's just... That's just crazy stuff, that is. Okay, let's see if we can get clearance for departure. Uh, take off clearance. Miami Tower Webjet 737 ready for departing straight out at runway 27. Webjet 737 altimeter 29 or decimal 9 or 2 and 277 at 4. Departing straight out approved. Cleared for takeoff runway 27. Takeoff runway 27 Webjet 737. Okay, I haven't seen any comments here, guys. If you're out there, if you would like to give me a little bit of feedback of how it looks, how it sounds, that would be good. I can't see any comments in the bar, unless I've done something wrong, of course. Maybe you're making comments flat out and I can't see it. I don't know. But, uh, let me know. Right, I'll just carry on as if everything is perfect, okay? I'll find out later all the things I've done wrong, but... I'm recording this video as well, so I'll put it on my channel... Uh, ...later. Look at this! Look at this! This is ridiculous! Well, I've better, I shouldn't be going... So, I shouldn't be so close, should I? My wings are going to... My wings are going to do the hedge trimming. I'm doing the trimming with my with my wings. It's not a good habit to get into. Okay, just a quick check. Uh, flaps are down five. Climb out speed two fifty. Climb out altitude ten thousand feet. Right, here he goes. Give her a bit of juice. Love the sound of those engines. <laughs> awesome, eh? Okay, toga. and gentle without any tail strike gear up look at that sunrise just beautiful there's the CBD in the background of Miami downtown looking fantastic doesn't it okay so I'm climbing out nice and gentle like gonna head over to my autopilot Put on the, the speed, LNAV, and the autopilot. Climb out uh, vertical speed. I will put at 737 frequency change. And fingers crossed, my plane actually starts to follow the flight plan. We'll bring the gear up. So far, so good, guys. Better not speak too soon, though, but so far. Uh, she's doing all the things she is supposed to do. Uh, I didn't have the landing lights on. That's oh dear. Well, it saves me turning them off, I suppose. Okay, taxi lights off. Right. 
Right, so uh, we'll put the gear in the off position. Flaps are up, so we're nice and clean. Now the auto brake, I'm going to click it round to auto brake 3. In preparation for landing, things get rather busy later and I might forget, so let's do that right from the get-go. Should see some beautiful scenery today as the sun comes up over Miami. We're heading over to the coast, so that will be just gorgeous. And we're turning around to the right now, so uh, that means my autopilot is following the flight plan, so that's good news. I've got to get things right eventually, eh? If I keep trying. Right, I've turned my little web, web camera on so you can see me flying with the controls and the throttles and everything. Um, speed. Speed mode switched itself off. That's not good. Um, so I've got that little camera on so you can see me in the controls and see me using the yoke. But for some reason on the stream, on the screen, I don't think it's coming on. Um, but it's there anyway, so I'm recording and it will be on the video I record. But for some reason it's not coming up on the streamed screen. So there'll be a simple little setting I need to adjust or need to do, but uh, believe me, it's only my face. It's a blessing if you can't see it, okay? Believe me. Uh, but sometimes it's good. People like to see me use the, the controls, you know, using the yoke and using the throttles and all those sort of things. So I'll sort that out, hopefully by the time I do the next stream. So we're climbing up now to our 10,000 feet. We're at 250 knots, which is what I set in the uh, autopilot. So that is cool. That is very good. And we're heading towards Swags, our next waypoint. 31.9 nautical miles. Right, oh, it's hot here today, guys. Is it hot where you are? 27 degrees here in Auckland. For us, that is sweltering. For my mate Alan and Doug in Australia, that's probably cold. Uh, but for us, man, I was sweating. Sitting here at the computer, playing my flight simulator. I got the fan going over there. Got some cold juice here. Got some brown, got some brown water. Nice chilled brown water here. Um, yeah. It was hot the other night. I was sweating. I think I lost two kgs. And I was nervous as well because I thought people were watching me. <laughs> now I know why they call it streaming, you know, because you just sweat so much. The sweat just streams out of you. I had to take my shirt off and go outside and wring it out like an old cloth. Oh dear. Today I feel a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more calm. Just taking my time and relaxed. Not worried too much whether things go wrong or right. Just have fun. If it works, it works. Uh, and eventually we'll get really good at this streaming and uh, we'll have a lot of good videos coming up for you. Lots of cool plans. Look at this scenery. It is just beautiful, isn't it? Should take a screenshot of that if I can. There we go. I've got a screenshot for my thumb. Heading out over towards the coast, southwest Florida, so the scenery will be beautiful.
So we're at 10,000 feet, traveling at 249 knots. I kind of think if I go to uh, if I go to 11,000 feet, I could speed up a bit. Oh, eh? you're allowed to go over 10,000. Uh, you're allowed to go over 250 knots. Let's speed up. See what happens. What's the worst that can happen? Shouldn't say that. Let's go up to 290 knots. Yeah. Let's burn some rubber. Now it's a pretty short hop today, so as soon as we get to Swags, we're going to start coming down in our altitude. Uh, I want to be at 250. Um, I want to be at two and a half thousand feet on my final approach, so it won't be too long, and I will have to start descending. At 249. Now my speed mode has switched itself off, see? Speed mode switched itself off. Uh, but I can see on my MFD here, my plane is coming up to this waypoint called Swags. So when I get to there, I'm going to start descending. <coughs> so it's a bit too late. I don't really want to speed up now. So I'll stay at 250 knots, actually. Because I'm going to start descending when I get to uh, when I get to Swags. Now I'm a bit disappointed. PMDG haven't supplied us with the electronic flight bag yet, or the little laptop screen here. Um, a lot of the other planes have got it. That you can buy. I have the little laptop here. We can configure and do a lot of things like your your attendance and your announcements and the doors and all those sort of things you can do it here I know you can do it in the FMC but it is a bit sort of small and complicated it would be nice to have an electronic flight bag or a PC screen here where we can do all that um, bit disappointed they've gone this long without without updating and putting that in because it is a really is a nice nice thing to have now we're coming up to Swags, so let's uh, start bringing the altitude down, start descending. Going to come down to 5,000 feet initially, by the time we get to 5,000 feet, we'll be almost at our next waypoint actually. Vertical speed, I will set at uh, nice and gentle, minus 1,500. See a plane, the nose dipping down now to start our descent. As we turn around to the left at our waypoint, this is the next waypoint we are heading towards, Butley, and then we're going to swing around to the right and we will be on our final approach for the runway 06. And we're going to do an ILS approach today. I'll do a manual landing, but we're going to turn on the ILS. Uh, computer and do an ILS approach. Two ninety five going quite fast because we're descending, you see. 
we're coming down in our altitude, attitude, and altitude. I'll start dropping my speed up here just to compensate for that. Don't want to be going too fast. Bring that down to 200 knots. If I can get a nice flight in today and do a nice landing, an ILS approach and a nice landing, I will be over the moon, guys. My last few practices with all the streaming software and stuff has been a bit of a disaster. <laughs> You've got to do it. You've got to learn. So you have to make the blunders and do all this stuff. But um, if this one goes well tonight, it'll be the first proper stream that I've done where the flight has gone well and I've done a nice landing so let's let's hope we do a nice landing okay it'll be the start of a start of something good for Jet and Airways if we can do good um, you know good successful well managed streams we can really have some fun and it's really good when we get more people watching as well because people can make tip can uh, Make, give me tips and helpful suggestions and all sorts of things. They can ask questions as well. They can point out things that I've done wrong or things that I've missed. And uh, that's all part of the fun. So I can't wait to get more people involved in the stream and have some sort of interaction. I've already met some wonderful people. You, you just wouldn't believe the people you meet when you have a YouTube channel. People uh, start contacting you and chatting with you on the Discord really meet some amazing people. Really clever, really, really intelligent. I didn't, why they want to watch me, I, I got absolutely no idea. <laughs> it must be just for comedy value, okay? Just for a bit of a hoot. <laughs> See how the idiots do things. <laughs> Okay, let's just check things here. Coming down to 5,000 feet, so that is very cool. Our speed is starting to come down here now. Here's the 5,000 feet, which I've set in the autopilot. Coming up towards our next waypoint, which is Butley, and then we've got a big turn around to the right. Big turn around to the right there. Once we finish that turn and we're going straight in, I will turn on the... ILS, the, the approach mode. Okay, so we're way below 10,000 feet. Uh, we can actually turn on our landing lights now. Why so early? Well, I may forget about it later. Things do get busy when you're coming in for a landing. Um, so I'm okay to turn those on early. I have my auto brakes set on three for landing. five thousand feet 200 knots we're coming in nice and slow and gentle no hurry guys absolutely no hurry at all
Coming out over the water now, we will get some really nice views as we come out over the water. Southwest Florida. Still haven't seen any messages yet in the comment section. Maybe I haven't got things, either people don't want to talk to me or I haven't got my settings right. It would have been nice to have a little bit of feedback if someone could tell me if my microphone level is okay or the, they can see everything clearly. If you have time guys, if you don't mind, just uh, just say hi and uh, let me know how it looks because um, I'm not confident I've got all my settings correctly uh, all set up, done properly. But anyway, I'm okay. If I was the only one here, I'd still be happy as a sand dog. <laughs> I just love flying my 737, especially when things are going well and everything's working, okay? It can be damn frustrating when nothing's working right, I tell you. Oh. Okay, just keeping an eye on our MFD here, our flight plan. Ah, zoom it out a little bit. There we go, I'm coming up towards Butley, the next waypoint. So actually when I hit Butley, I want to be at 3,000 feet. So let's organize that. Shift our altitude down to 3,000 feet. Vertical speed, I'll do a nice gentle uh, 1,200 or something. There we go. Everyone's still drinking their coffee and their fruit juice and and having their glass of beer. I don't want to do anything drastic that's going to spill anything. Um, the hostesses have brought me a lovely cup of coffee, so I enjoyed that. That was beautiful. There's my little cup holder there. See, they've taken my taken my coffee cup away already. They look after me, I tell you. They look after me like I'm a member of their own family. Cabin crew are just incredible. Okay, coming up. Well, as soon as we get out over the water, we're going to be doing a big loop round to the right. We'll be on finals and we will turn on our ILS approach. Southwest Florida here. CBD down there. Looking gorgeous. Look at this coastline, guys. Isn't that beautiful? Mm -mm. Wonderful scenery. Look at that. What a beautiful place to live. If you live in this area, let me know in the comments, will you? What's it like to live in southwest Florida? It looks just gorgeous. Love to visit here. Okay, we're out over the water now, so we'll be hooking around to the right very, very soon. And then once we get around, we will need to be at uh, two and a half thousand feet. I need to get my speed down a little bit. Got quite a sharp turn here. Around to the right. Quite a sharp turn. Right, I think I'm going to start um, bringing my altitude down to 2,500 feet, ready to intercept the ILS. We'll be 
starting our right hand turn very very soon I would say here we go here we go this is where the fun starts guys when we're lining up that runway I tell you it looks like a matchstick when you're looking at it from the aeroplane and you got to land on it you're thinking oh couldn't they make it a bit bigger <laughs> I'd like a runway about the size of 10 football fields. That would be cool. That would be a lot less stressful when you're coming for a landing, wouldn't it? Here we go. Coming round to the right. Just a s another slight little turn. We should be getting some diamonds soon on here. Oh, we didn't tune it, did we? We didn't tune the radio. Oh my gosh. We got a tune for an ILS approach. Didn't do that. What a dummy. Or did I? I can't remember. Did I do it or not? Okay, frequency 11150. So here we go. Let's tune this quickly. 111. 5-0, switch it to the active, 1-1-1, one, 5-0, one, one. Oh. my gosh, what a clown, what a clown, okay, and heading at 58, so we've got to put that in here, see, we've got some diamonds here now, over here, heading at 58, Okay, diamonds are solid, so we can hit uh, we can hit the approach hold mode. Okay, our, our plane will now hopefully follow these diamonds, and we will do an ILS approach. What's our speed? We need to get our speed down. Get it down to uh, 240. Two forty five for now. Might drop our put our speed brakes out just to help our speed come down a bit. Gotta bleed off a bit of speed here, guys. Man, that's bad, eh? I should have tuned the um, should have tuned the radios for the ILS. Okay, we're locked onto the diamonds, so that is a good thing. But I just got that done in time, didn't I? Got our wheels down. Here we go. Probably going a little bit fast to drop this drop the under gear to drop the wheels actually, but but never mind, we had to do it. We're still going a little fast. We're coming down. Still going a little fast. Right, I'm going to turn off the auto throttle. The um, going to turn off the autopilot soon, and I'll do a manual approach and landing, and then I'll get my speed down. Let's do that now. Eh? Autopilot off. Give the throttle a swing, and I will bring my. Um, Take off the speed brakes. Oops, oops. Not too slow. Not too slow. Not too slow. Okay, here we go. Going a bit too slow there.
that was a bad landing guys a bad landing bad approach and a bad landing Right, reverse thrusters off, speed brakes off, flaps up. Ah, uh, and the reason that was a bad landing was obvious, it was a bad approach. Um, I wasn't prepared ahead of time. Now it looks like my, oh no, I thought my nose wheel steering had uh, crapped out again, but is it working now? Working again? If I can get moving. Oh yeah, it's working. Ah, let me think, has my brake come on? Did my brake come on? Okay, let's get moving, come on. Move, move, move. What's happened? It won't move. Got a problem here, guys. Why won't it move? The brakes are not on. The brakes are not on, are they? No. Brakes are off. I wonder if I've damaged the wheels because it was a really hard landing. I was going too fast. Um, so I may very well have damaged, damaged the wheels or something. Yeah, the steering, um, the nose wheel steering doesn't seem to be working. Uh, so I've got a feeling that maybe, maybe I did some damage to the wheels. Um, I should be able to, the nose wheel steering's not working, I can't seem to get moving anywhere, so. Uh, Okay, auto brakes off. Let's see if that makes. Does that make any difference? No, it moves, but I haven't got any uh, any nose wheel steering. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I got a problem with it anyway, guys. got a problem with it I think I damaged something on that uh, on that landing because it was really hard and um, it was a bad approach I didn't have the ILS tuned in I managed to get it tuned in time uh, but then uh, I think I was coming in too fast when I hit the hit the runway and I wasn't in the right place I had to swing over to the side a bit so not a good approach not a good landing uh, but we did get down safely okay so that was all right um, and we'll do better next time um, yeah so anyway 
let me know what you think in the comments if you can see if it's very very obviously what I did wrong and it probably is it looks like I have damaged the plane in some way we'll do better on the next one guys we'll do better on the next stream um, if you just popped in over the stream and you haven't been to this channel before welcome hope you enjoyed it sorry it was a bit uh, dodgy <laughs> at the end there uh, but that's what it is I'm learning as I go uh, so that's what it's going to be like for a little while anyway until we improve and get this uh, channel streaming really really well thanks for your support guys thanks for calling in make a comment if you like and I will see you on the next stream Keep safe, keep happy, and happy flying. Over and out. See ya.